Sorry about that. It looks like uh, we had some uh, issues here on our side. We lost one of the uh, switches tripping, but uh, I managed to just quickly plug us into another one. So here we go. Damage control then getting in that ground there. So apologies for that. Um, score now 7-10. Energy Esports, you know, kind of still have the lead here at the moment. But let's just quickly have a look at, uh, like at, at DC now. DC has got the ability to kind of uh, get things rolling again. Um, you know, they're only three rounds away here. They've got guns in hand, so they probably will uh, decrease that deficit to only about two or so. Hopefully it'll work here for them. So the gamble coming into play is from the energy team. Playing a very good save round here. In fact, managing to get two, two kills off uh, the DC guys quite early. And then obtaining two guns. But explicit then managing to get some kills. Good play there from Aipaki's brother. Taking down two. And the third as well. So, you know, not a bad save round, I guess, from the energy side. Uh, but uh, DC, you know, uh, ending up being stronger there. And, uh, well, getting themselves uh, a decent score closer, well, closing up uh, to 10. So now we see that, uh, you know, the, the guns are being purchased from both sides here. Yeah, the AWP play from Style, even as a T, quite interesting to see. We're seeing the long side push here from them, and then the lowest push here from... The DC guys, Kron getting taken out there. Zero chance of playing very aggressively there for uh, that split second, uh, taking him out. And, uh, you know, that's that's kind of what energy you need, those quick and easy, quick uh, kills, just to get them going. Coming in from the long side, you yeah, see managing to breach into the A side area here. And as you can see, goals really just desperately trying to get around there. Gets taken out there by Hellhound. And uh, a favorable position here for the Energy Esports team. But we might see that bomb plot coming into effect here. We see Hellhound still picking up two kills already. APOC being taken down now there by Zeratron. And then Nephon with a very ranged shot gets uh, DC right, or DC Hellhound right in the back of the head. And for securing the 11th round for the energy team here. So let energy only five rounds away from, um, you know, winning this winner's bracket final and putting them into the grand final. Which is uh, pretty interesting to see. As a lot of people expected, guys like uh, Damage Control and Bravado, um, you know, walking into that, that position. But uh, yeah, tides are slightly changing here by the looks of it. But we do still see a full buy here from both teams. So kind of a split push here. Look at this. Bit of a gamble here from the energy team. And uh, DC will be making their way into that long side area. Nothing coming from it. So there's quite a, uh, quite a flat defense here from the energy team on the A uh, top side area. We see Zero Chance really pushed up the mid here. So I don't think any, uh, DC will be waiting for or expecting him there. As he gets the one pick off Apocalypse, Alan is still kind of waiting it out there. Gets taken out as well. So good play here from Energy. Elusive as well. Explicitly the only one picking off uh, for the DC side. But he gets... Uh, Oh, ooh, this is interesting to see. Explicit now with three kills in the name. Has some flak from the outside from Zero Chance. From the long side ditch area. He's got one guy in the top side to contend with. And gets taken out there. So energy now 12 and up. They've increased their deficit to four now. And, uh, well, we might be seeing a, a new grand finalist for a change coming into the party here. So now the save round coming into effect here for the DC side. DC can be quite uh, dangerous on their si save rounds as I've seen in the past. But it looks like uh, the nades are falling in the right spots here for the energy team. And they're picking up a kill there as well. So already three guys only left for the DC guys and a full stack of energy guys. And they're getting the picks all over the place. Listen, 
managing to get a kill there, but then goal saved him out as well. And uh, that save run, not working too well there for the DC team. And uh, the score now, 13-8. I mean, this is where DC really needs to kind of bring the game back to energy, as we saw in the previous map. And they're more than capable of doing so. That's the nice thing to see about the damage control side. Really experienced, you know, pretty much on the top there. And, um, well, energy just, um, at this moment in time, really just, they've got the synergy as a team. They've been working very well together and they know their roles. They've been backing each other very well. And now you can even see it by the aggressive play here, but it's uh, not really working out there for goals and for uh, his teammate Elusive. As uh, the PC guys come out on top there. And Kron taking a pick off there on TC. So this game is going to be quite a close game. And Halan picking him off there. So DC now all on low HP. But uh, they've got the numbers. You know, this is something that uh, the energy team don't have. And uh, although Zero Torrent's on 100 HP, he's rather going to go for the, the, the choice to save. And, uh, well, let's just hope that it actually... No, he doesn't come across any other DC players. He might just uh, face one of them now. Picks off Halan quite quickly. He's not aware of the low HP on the DC side. But, you know, once again, numbers have a better chance of winning. Terrorist and there we go. Well, Explicit taking out uh, zero chance there. So now DC managing to pull back a, another round. Maybe forcing the save round here on the EN guys. It does seem so. And, uh, well... Things are starting to get very exciting here for them. So, if you guys could just kindly feed back to me if you guys are still hearing that kind of buzzing noise. Uh, we'd just like to find out, etc. I might have to change microphones in the next uh, in the next game. But, uh, yeah, the feedback would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. So, anyway, just quickly back into the game here. Um, you know, the DC side's pretty much, um, again, in the driving seat of the round. And hopefully they'll be able to actually just secure another round here, closing that gap to only three rounds. It's what the energy team don't want to be, quite frankly honest. Energy are still pretty much three rounds away from taking this uh, winner's bracket final and then walking through uh, to actually get, um, you know, get a position for, for the first time as, uh, as grand finalists. So we see a full stack uh, set up here from both the teams here. Apocalypse, the only one not really buying up, but I'm sure he's, one of his teammates will actually provide him with a gun. A quick overview look uh, here, as we can see, Apoc did receive a gun in actual fact here. A bit of a kind of an interesting setup, a bit more, you know, bias towards the mid-side position here. See the energy quickly trying to play that top to get him on the nose. Not really working out here for them as we see Explicit and Apoc pushing very aggressively up the top. Very well by picking off three members thus far. Finally Explicit going down there but already the damage has been done as we see only one energy member remain. And uh, damage control just, you know, kind of slowly but surely moving in closer towards that energy score of 13. So Zero Chance obviously getting his quick pick there and then just kind of taking a duck for it. Uh, he obviously wants to save this gun. So quickly looking at the current financial, uh, the financial situation for both sides here. Energy, not so much in a comfortable position here. But uh, as, as we look at DC's finances, they kind of also not uh, out of the clear there. But um, because they've won that round, that definitely puts them in a position to buy guns again. We, we do see energy possibly saving once more. Uh, which is going to be a bit of a problem here for the uh, for for them specifically because um, they do require you know that additional round. They want to get to that 16 round mark. 
quick as possible to secure that grand final position. But uh, the DC team just really, at this moment, is bringing the game back to energy. And it, I'm thoroughly enjoying what they're actually doing here. Alan here, precision aiming here from him, takes down Edmon. He has the support from Explicit, so they open up that B-side area. Still under a bit of pressure here, but he loses his AWP after taking out um, one of the energy members there. Just, just looking at it right now, bomb going down in the B-side area quite quickly. A quick spread out here from DC. They're all over the map. He loses managing to take down uh, Explicit here. So it's a three on two, and both the energy members have got guns in the bag. So Goals is really desperately trying to save this AWP. He shouldn't actually be peeking, but uh, I think Apocalypse is going to, you know, kind of try and filter him out here. But, uh, well, he gets hold of Apocalypse there, so the rest of the decent side is going to try and ch chase, him, chase him down. They don't want that AWP in the hands of the EN team because uh, someone like Zero Chance could use it quite effectively. Let's just quickly see if that swap is going to occur. Looking at the current scoreboard here, uh, uh, Goals and Nephon still topping the score there with the Explicit and APOC, uh, the two brothers right on top there, uh, doing uh, the justice here for the DC side. So both teams have guns, guns in hand, and I think uh, we are starting to close up, well, close in onto a very interesting time in the specific map here. It's a 1 1 at the moment, and whoever takes this map walks away with the grand final position. So quick, quick look at the overview here. We can see DC kind of more so looking at that mid side. We've got Stahl already sitting in the ditch side with the AWP. And uh, all he really needs to do is just kind of just take it easy and wait for, for one of the EN members to pop and uh, take him out. But we have goals playing with the AWP. So this is a nice little one-on-one -on -one here. Oh, Stahl gets the best of him there. And uh, well, it looks like DC again on the advantage here. Elusive managing to kind of equalize it out there, a decent trade-off, but unfortunately goes down to Kron, where Kron then trades him off. Style playing the AWP quite effectively here, getting hold of TC. We still have uh, Nephon and Zero Chance alive. Uh, they're going to be pretty reluctant going in against uh, a, a four DC uh, man force. And as we know, Halhound can be quite quite dangerous there with that uh, AK-47 of his. So we see Explicit pick up the AWP as well. I've seen Explicit from time to time play with the AWP and um, you know he's actually not that bad. He's actually pretty good with it. So the bomb now down in the A-side area here and we're going to be seeing a 13-all draw up and uh, well are we going to see DEC actually take the lead against the energy team here? So we're looking on the energy side here, they have got uh, enough money in the bag now, that lost bonus kind of kicking in there and uh, giving them an extra couple of grand just to buy up enough weapons to try and uh, you know stop this DC onslaught. DC now looking very comfortable with the finances. Uh, one of the players there specifically, if we have a quick look, is Halhan, no sorry my mistake, uh, Kron sitting on 10k cash which uh, pretty much can aid the entire team with guns. Now again, that mid-side positioning here from the damage control side, they're just taking it easy. They're really not trying to play anything too risky. They've kind of found a little loophole in the energy defense here, and they are exploiting it quite effectively. First pick here from Apocalypse, good exchange from uh, Zero Chance. It gets taken out there by Explicit, so DC a little bit more in the favorable position. There we see Style taking out Elusive, and uh, the energy side just maybe just a little bit too under pressure uh, to, to take on a very experienced damage control side. So the bomb going down in the B-side area here, pretty much uh, locked tight here from the DC team. We've only got one member left, TC. Let's just quickly have a quick look and see what he's up to. He's waiting in the CT spawn side. He wants to try and get as many guns as possible. It's really like kind of his core focus at this moment. He doesn't want to, um, you know, try and die just in vain here. And he does quite well by taking out Apocalypse now. They know he's there. He's going to try again to take another. Well, it doesn't look like Explicit was paying attention there. So he takes two guns from the DC side. Still the only one left there with the AWP. 
And, um, well, not a bad round, I guess, there for the energy side. They've still got some money in the bank. They can still bring this back, but DC at the moment are looking very strong. So, a quick overview look here. Again, that mid side position is being exploited by the DC guys. And we see that energy kind of playing a little bit more aggressive now on the mid side area. So, this might just change things up here as we see Elusive taking the pick there on explicit. Devon coming in from the lower side area. So, now all of a sudden, energy's kind of changed their game around here. We see a little bit more of an aggressive style here from them, which seems to be working. Halan is kind of backed off into the kind of uh, T spawn B area. Whilst the rest of the DC side are not too particular, well, they're not too particularly sure if they should actually take on uh, that long. So, again, it's a very interesting predicament that NG has put DC in here with that aggressive style of play. They've kind of backed off now just to take it easy to see if there's any sort of, um, you know, push play now from, uh, uh, from the DC players, like individual push play specifically. But it, uh, at this moment, it's very, very slow. Oh, some trading off happening there on the A side area, but it looks to be more favorable for the E inside as they, well, pretty much uh, should walk away with the victory here. It's a three on one, unless we see some brilliant individual skill here from Kron. He's coming in from the top side area with the bomb in hand. So he's going to try and get get taken out there by TC. And well, we have 14 apiece now, guys. It's really getting right down to the wire. Go guys, round 29 underway here. Pretty much the first one to 16 will get their grand final spot. You see that DC are playing the, the top side a little bit more aggressively, but their energy just really just brings it to DC. And how I'm finally, you know, kind of trading one off there, but already it's a, it's a two on four at the moment. It's really difficult now for DC to actually. Maybe bring this one back. So, energy, you know, at the moment, just kind of taking it easy at the moment. Really just hanging back, not playing too aggressively, waiting for the DC guys to make the first move. And, uh, you know, just looking at it now, this game is really just getting very close. DC at the moment, unfortunately, losing three guys there pretty quick. They had to gamble on the top side uh, push. But it just, um, you know, I don't, I'm not just not too sure if it paid off that well because now they're sitting pretty much 3v2. There we see energy taking that one down. Halan specifically, a core player has got him. And that's the 15 round there for the energy side. So now they only need one more to walk away with the victory. So kind of a quick change of events here from the energy team. You know, really just uh, playing that aggressive... Uh, Around uh, two or three rounds back, and just kind of changed the entire ball game. You know, DC just did very well, just kind of slowly but surely moving their way towards that uh, that energy mark. They got to the energy mark, they took the lead. Um, but just looking at it now, you know, their contact is two kills. How uh, zero chance getting one, and it's a two on two situation. A style picks up one. Elusive gets another. So only style left to beat. And there we go, guys. Energy is through to the grand final. Well, they beat Bravado, they beat DC. So, you know, this is going to be interesting to see this final. Um, you know, coming from my side, I think it's good for a team to actually just lose one match. Um, in You know, it kind of just gives them that, uh, that feeling of losing a game, knowing what it's about, you know, knowing what's on the line. And, you know, going through then into the loser's bracket, playing it out. So now we're going to see either DC or Bravado in that um, grand final. So Energy playing phenomenally well, taking out Bravado, taking out DC, getting themselves into the uh, loser's bracket final. I'm sorry, the, win uh, the, the grand final. <laughs> in the winner's bracket final they were right now. And, um, you know, just playing very, very well. So I'm hoping that uh, there's going to be 
a, a really good game between Damage Control and Bravado Gaming. We know that's a classic. We love watching those two play each other. Um, I'm not too sure when it's going to start, but I will keep you guys posted on the next stream. So for now, guys, I will be um, taking a short break, and uh, we will see you guys in the next few minutes.